What you got in your hand? Wait, what's in my hand? Got a throw net right here. A throw net? For what? Well. What What are we fixing to go do? We're fishing to get fine. Catch a little, little old bass. Little old bass? Right. For Probably what? For what? Well, if, through that window, that, that'd that be your room. My room. And in that, in that room, there's a fish tank. A fish tank? Probably yay big and shit on the floor like that right here. In the video previous to this, I think it's a couple videos back, it'll be linked in the description. You guys might want to go watch that before you watch this video. We gotta go catch us a new pet. You? Ain't that right, Julius? Yeah. So, uh, I'll talk a little That's bit right. more about it once we get to the pond. But, Should uh, we let the, um, let the people name him? Y'all get to name him, but first we gotta catch him. So, wish us luck. We're about to get the day started. We got some small fish to go after. I actually think we might need a, some smaller reels than that, Julius. No. Should, should we take a Walmart trip? Get, get some fairy rods? I'm broke. Okay, I got a backup plan. <laughs> what do we have in the Montero? What do we have in the Montero? Julius doesn't even know. Okay, we have a mess. That's that's, that's uh that's real quick thing. obvious. What, what's what's in here? I actually don't even know what's in here. Hey, look at that. Is that thing small enough? I think it is. I reckon you're right. Let, let's go get it. So there's a carp right in the middle. I'm gonna try to catch him in the throw net. Here. Take take the camera. Please don't be tangled up. I don't know where he went. I wonder if you'd be able to see him on camera. He was out towards the middle and going this way. I'm about to throw a Hail Mary. I don't know where this, there he is. He's right here, he's right here. Oh yeah. He was going left. Damn. You threw over him. I was scared of getting caught on the GoPro. You caught a few, two, two brim. We got some small crappie. Uh, I'm not worried about catching a crappie. I really want a pet bass. If we can't catch one, that's what's going in the tank though. I can catch those in the throw net all day. Pop this baby down. All right, guys, I'm going to get this started, start throwing this little rooster tail and see what we can catch. Good. Be like, action. Action. All right, so for small fish, you need small equipment. This, I probably, I already went over it. Pin fishing rod, I think it's a Goliath. It's like five foot, collapsible. Uh, little tiny rooster tail. Should be able to catch a little tiny aggressive bass. Did I say that right? Little tiny aggressive bass sounds about right. It just came out funny in my mouth. It, like, bloop, bloop, bloop. it sounds kind of weird, but right. I mean, still gonna send Let's it. See if we can catch the fish. So we're about to run to a different pond. Uh, this one is not producing any bass, so we're about to go give another pond a shot. See if we can't catch one. So me and Julius over here, we took the big long trip. Here's one of the ponds we can fish. We've never had good luck in that pond, but we're going to a really pretty pond back here. Apparently recently the ponds turned over so that's no bueno, but at least all the small fish didn't die And that's what we're after today looking good looking good. I think we're gonna catch some fish two hours later so This is proved to be very challenging. We're at the second pond now and uh, Nothing's happening. I haven't had a bite. I'm about to whip out the throw net and see if we can't catch one I ain't caught shit. So we'll see how it goes Get the camera out. We're about to catch one, Julius. See that grass line? The flooded grass line? There's a fish gonna be in it. Watch this. Okay, that was a little bit out of the, the, fish, the fish line. But uh, let me just go ahead and reel this in and try again. Booyah. Right here. What'd I say? What'd I... Oh, man! Go, buddy! I don't think so. Get out the weeds! Oh god, did you hear my drag? What are you thinking? Too big. Really? Way too big. Shoot. Did I not say get the camera out? There's gonna be a fish in this grass line. Okay, you may have been able to say get the camera out. There's gonna be a fish in this grass line. I know. He's a thick little I can't say that word. Bugger. Bugger. So this whole rod and reel idea isn't working. Now knowing the throw net. Pan down the throw net. We gotta teach Julius how to film. Now pan back up to me. Uh, we're not gonna be able to catch one as Wait. small as I want. Pan? Pan. 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 
like a crock pot, like a Should've something to throw your fish throw in. Anyway. Get it fishing, throwing so, your fish in the crock pot pan. The throw net. <laughs> Uh, Throw that. We might not be able to catch one small enough, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Even if we catch one a little bit bigger than I want, we'll probably use them anyway. Uh, Send it. I want one we can keep for a long time, because if we get a big one, we're gonna have to release him after he outgrows the tank. <laughs> and if he's a part of the family, the Brain Price fam, you know, we kind of don't want to just throw him out, throw him back into a pond. So we'll see how this goes. We're we'll seeing we can't catch anything, like a tree. <laughs> Did you see that pancake? Perfect. Right on top of a tree, I bet. Oh, I forgot I'm playing music. That's not good. You got something. Holy, that's a nice. These bluegill. Thinking we should keep one of these dudes? Um, we could. Oh, this thing's filled. Oh. oh. Look at that crappie. Holy crap. I've, I've told you there's big crappie in here. Look at that one. <laughs> you know how big that crappie is? Look at that crappie. That's my hand compared to him. So obviously this whole catching a bass thing is really hard. So we do have two small bluegill in here. It's about too much work transporting them back to the house. We can catch a small bluegill anywhere. See you little dudes. What to do now? Another pond, I reckon. Another pond, let's go. So, pond number, oh my gosh, the lens is dirty. Pond number three, we're about to go give it a shot with the rooster tail. Here we go, here we go. What the f Oh man, he had it in his mouth. I was like, I was watching him take it. I gave him a couple seconds and then woo, there goes my Senko. So currently I'm fishing a small four inch dinger and uh, Julius is over there whaling away with the rooster tail. We're teaming up. We're trying to catch a small bass. It's a lot harder than it looks, isn't it Julius? So we're about to make a move to a pond. I fished for 10 minutes one time with Julius. Uh, Really clear water, a lot of small fish, a lot of big fish. So we're gonna go give it a shot. Hopefully it's not too mossy today. Last time it was covered in moss and all I had was a chatterbait. So that's why I didn't stay long. We're gonna give that pond a shot if nothing happens. Well, something's gonna happen. We'll see how it goes. It looks actually pretty clean, Julius. That doesn't look like there's much moss down in there. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Let's go get us a pet fish. Dang it, why wasn't I recording? The little freaking ring right there. Dude, there's a rabbit. That's a wildlife habitat here, man. This is out in Yibo nowhere, dude. Yo, it looks so much better than what it did last time. Yeah, it was bad. The last time it was all the way across. Dude, we're gonna catch some fish. You didn't grab the buck? Oh yeah, you did. Sweet, we got the bucket to keep the little <laughs> fish. And uh, let's, now we just gotta catch them. Dude, we can catch them in this. All right, you go fish that side, I'm gonna go fish this side. I'll see you in a minute, buddy. Something's on this. What's going on? I swear they're picking it up and moving it. Drop that sucker right. Because he hit it five or six times. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. What is hitting this? I got him, Julius! That might be fish tank size. That might be fish tank size. He's definitely on the big side, but he's pretty small. Yeah, he's a little bit big, but he would do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Look at that, guys. I think he's uh, about eight, maybe nine inches. You just stay right there, buddy. We'll see if we can't call you out with a smaller one. There's one. Is he smaller than Bassy though? That was an awful hook set. Might be. Don't get over here, boy. Nah, he's bigger. Bassy's pretty small comparing him to these other bass. Still ain't small enough. Dude! <laughs> Julius! <laughs> I turned around and I was about to take a piss. 
and then, oh my gosh <laughs> oh shit I legit turned around was about to unbuckle my pants felt something on my line turn around looked at my line felt for him and he was there what the heck hey what's up where you at uh at a pond in Yibo nowhere BFE come to town Come to town? And your friends are dicks. At cookout. Uh, at cookout. You're at cookout? Oh, I got a fish. You're at cookout? Bring the fish. Oh, gosh. I can, I need two hands for this. Hey, I'll call you back. Okay. All right, bye. <laughs> Dog, I think we just got the new bass. Maybe. Yeah, that's him. This is Bassy. This is Bassy. Freaking Bassy right here. We caught him. This one has to be, yeah, he's just gotta be shorter. All right, bye Bassy 1.0. See if he swims off. He's good. All right, I say we leave on that note. All right, please don't jump out on the way home, dude. I swear to you, if you do, I'm gonna be freaking pissed. Dude. He's in the bucket. He's in the bucket. All right, all right, all right, take the bucket, take the bucket, take the bucket, take the bucket. I gotta get a bag to put them in. Ah, let's go, let's go. You take them to my room. Don't drop them. Do you make it? There he is. That's gonna be, oh, he's so big for that tank. Oh, there he went. He's being put He's in. gonna be pissed when he sees how small his tank is. Yeah? So, if you guys haven't seen the previous video, uh, here's the tank. We did put a skid steer in it. He's definitely, I mean, he's, longer than that he's too big for the tank he'll only be in here for a week or two and then we'll return him in the garrett's pond uh we'll probably get a smaller one but this is the smallest we got today so we'll see how it works so the fish has sat in the tank for about 20 minutes we got to run to town so we're gonna go ahead and put him in there julius you can take the camera for the rest of this who knows if he's still alive he could be dead if he's dead oh well i guess he's kicking boom All right, dude, let's hope you got used to the water temp. All right, one look at him. That's still my fingertips, who knows how long he is. Dang, he's way big. You get a good shot of this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, he's too big for this tank. I told you. Just kidding, he's perfect. I told you he's too big for this tank. He's perfect. At least he's kicking. That was for dang sure. So we are definitely not upgrading the tank size. We are, or tank size, I don't know how I just said that. We're gonna get a smaller bass. For now, he'll be in here. He's too big for it. not that bad. Ah, he needs a lot more room than that. He'll be fine for a while. It'll just be a holding tank till we go ahead and release him until we get a new bass. He's just chilling now right we, now. Now we get to buy goldfish to feed. Oh yeah, we'll keep him in here for what? Two, three weeks and then yeah. take him to Garrett's Pond. Release him in Garrett's pond and uh, go get a new chunky. one. He is chunky, that's what I'm saying. He's a fatty, dude. So we're gonna run to town. When we get back, we'll give you guys an update. Here's the question, Julius. Is, is Bassie still alive? Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he alive? What's crack a lacking, Bassie? He's alive. Yeah, I'm so surprised. Has he even moved? So, guys, that's it for this video. We just got food, so we're about to chow down. Uh, Zaxby's, that's usually the moves. Anywho, if you guys want to name this fish, leave it in the description. Top comment will probably be the bass's name, and uh, we'll see how that goes. He's actually really good looking bass. He is. He's too big for the tank. We will be getting a new one. If you guys think I should leave him in this tank, let me know. We'll probably release him into Garrett's Pond, so he can grow into be a big, fat old bass, and uh, We'll either get some crappie to go in here or try to catch another bass. Should Do we want bluegill, crappie, shellcracker, or a baby bass? Or like two uh, bluegill and a crappie, two bluegills? Leave it in the description and uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one.